Open your dash menu, go to settings, and then user interface. There you'll see UI edit mode, go ahead and turn that on. This will turn your dash into a grid. From here you can spawn out the facets from your inventory, drag and drop them wherever you want. Once you're done, simply press the turn off UI button at the bottom and you're done. That's literally all you have to do. That's it. Well, if you want a more in-depth explanation, we can do that too. Torisan o shiete. Your dash menu, which is the one you see when you press the dash button, is completely modular and basically completely customizable. For better or for worse. Now adding facets is easy as I just demonstrated, but if you want a better understanding of what's going on under the hood, first we have to talk about parallel universes. Now there's two different spaces that exist within Resonite, the user space and the world space. On the user space, there's your dash menu, which is isolated from the world space. The user space is basically localized to every user, so only you can see your own user space. This is why only you can see your dash menu and also the pop-up VR keyboard. Sometimes it's called the private UI. The world that you're currently in is called the world space. This includes the session you're in with all the users and the assets. Now that you understand the user space, it's also important to figure out how to actually spawn those assets within your user space and not the world space. So when you double tap a facet in your inventory, it spawns them, but you won't be able to add them to your dash with the edit mode. This is because simply double tapping them from your inventory spawns them into world space, and world space can interact with your user space. What you need to do instead is single tap the item, and then choose spawn facet, which is up here. This will spawn the item in user space, and then only you can see it, no one else in the world space. With the facet, not only are you able to place it wherever you want, you're also able to resize some of them. While continuing to grab them, press and hold the trigger, then drag out the space you want the facet to be in. If it's not possible, it'll show red. But if it's green, you can go ahead and let go of grab, and then it'll be right there. Now since a recent update, not only can you add facets to your dash, but you can also add them to your avatar. If you go to settings, user interface, and all the way at the bottom, there's facet anchors. Turn this on, and this will allow you to attach facets to both your arms and forearms. This is great for when you want to access a facet, but don't want to open the entire dash. And you add these facets using the same edit mode. Now in edit mode, it's actually pretty easy to break your dash, but you can fix this pretty easily. If you ever have issues with your dash menu, you can go to Steam, right click Resonite, go to Properties, and type Reset Dash here in the Launch Options. Just remember to move the option afterwards so you don't reset your dash every time you start your game. Now for the real ones out there, there's a quick way to get to edit mode with a shortcut. When you have the dash open, use one hand to tap and hold the dash button, and in the other hand, go ahead and tap tap. This is a quick and probably my favorite way to bring up the edit mode. Now creating facets is an entirely different subject, and I won't get into that here because we would be here all day. But to get started on making one, all you have to do is use your handy dandy dev tooltip, go to create new, and choose facet. And thanks for watching. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and it's basically because I just overslept a little bit. And that's it. Okay, bye.